हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टेक्नेट गाइड फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ टू कॉन्फिगर डेस्टिनेशन नेट इन चेक पॉइंट फायरवाल सो फ्रेंड्स इन लास्ट वीडियो इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन दैट हाउ टू कॉन्फिगर स्टैटिक एंड सोर्स हाइड नेट इन चेक पॉइंट फायरवाल सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू कॉन्फिगर डेस्टिनेशन नेट इन चेक पॉइंट फायरवाल सो you can see this is my topology here this is my internet zone and this is my gateway gateway outside interface ip is 4.2.2.1 and my dmz zone is this one by dmz zone okay firewall interface ip 172.16.10.1 and these are my server one server two okay so let's see so friends let's see what task we will perform today so friends our task number one will be first task will be we will initiate traffic for this physical ip and this should be translated to server one okay we will initiate traffic for this physical ip and this should be translated to server one right and task number two we will use we will use virtual ip instead of physical ip 4.2.2.100 and initiate traffic from outside network it should be redirect to server 1 and we will use another virtual ip 4.2.11 uh, 101 initiate traffic for this virtual ip it should be redirect to server 2 second task and our third task will be we will use single virtual ip p4.2.2.100 and initiate traffic for port number 8080 and we will use another port number for 4.2.2.100 and port number 8081 okay when we will initiate traffic from outside network to this ip it should be redirect to server 1 when initiate traffic for port number 8081 it should be redirect to server 2 so friends we will perform three tasks here so let's start so let's perform here task number one we will use this physical ip for our server one okay so friends let's go to smart dashboard of checkpoint firewall so here is my smart dashboard so you can see this is my firewall here and management server so go to now we have to configure net policy go to security policy and click on net policy so here we have to configure destination net task one we will configure net for from outside network to this public ip and it should be redirect to server 1 ok my server 1 ip address is 172.16.10.10 so go to smart dashboard now go to net add rule we have to add source will be any from outside network so source will be any destination will be our firewall ip address 4.2.2 one okay firewall interface ip address for destination net and original service any translated source it should be original and translated destination will be our server one ip address so here we have to create object for that host server 1 172 okay translated destination will be server 1 and translated service will be original okay so now where we have to create policy for that about this policy source um, into dmz dmz tool will create 
source will be any outside network destination will be our gateway firewall interface IP address 4.2.1 and service will be any except log log enable now click on publish click on publish here now click on install policy now friends policy installed now we have to check traffic from outside network to server one okay so we will initiate traffic from outside to this destination will be 4.2.2.1 right so go to router rtr router outside router telnet 4.2.2.1 source interest visibility loopback 1 this is my loopback 1 we will initiate traffic from this network okay outside network loopback 1 okay try the password here enable so friends you can see I have what I did so friends from outside network I have initiated traffic for this one IP okay it's redirected to server one you can see this is my server one okay so let's check logs on firewall logs and monitor so friends you can see this image logs okay so you can see I have initiated traffic from this network to destination Y so destination was 4.2.2.1 and it translated to 172 16 10.10 .10. this is my server one so you can see we have successfully the first task is completed so now our second task is we will use two virtual IP 4.2.2.100 and 4.2.2.101 we will initiate traffic for destination will be 10100 it should be redirected to server 1 if destination is 101 then it should be redirected to server 2 and also we will see how to enable proxy R because we are using virtual IP so we have to enable proxy R as the last video we have seen okay so let's perform this task go to a smart dashboard go to net policy so net policy what we will do we have to create object so our object will be 4.2.2.100 okay so source will be any destination will be 4.2.2.100 and original service any translated source original and translated destination will be server 1 we have to add another rule ok we have to create object here host net 4.2.2.201 ok 4.2.2.201 see now our we have to create object for server 2 172 16 10.20 ok this is my server 2 so see if you going to initiate traffic for 2.100 it should be redirect to server 1 if you are going to initiate traffic for 2.101 it should be redirect to server 2 but now what we have to do here we have to allow these two IP 101 and 100 ok if anyone try to access this network it should allow ok now what we have to do go to your gateway gui 
we have to enable proxy r on gateway click on r here then you can see this is proxy r add we have to add here ip virtual ip okay select interface ets3 save we have to add another virtual ip 4.2.100.101 select virtual ip now click on save now again go to smart dashboard and click here click on menu and then click on global properties now here you have to click on net address translation network then you have to select merge manual proxy r configuration now click on ok now click on publish these changes now install policy so now friends we will initiate traffic for this ip okay. initiate traffic for 4.2.2.100 telnet 4.2.2.100 so the source interface will be loopback 1 then see what will happen server 1 you can see server 1 ok now again if we initiate traffic for go to exit now initiate traffic for 101 it should be redirect to server 2 ok you can see it's redirected to server 2 Go to exit now check logs here oh, we have to filter source here just filter source eight dot eight dot eight dot eight so you can see if you initiated traffic to destination one double zero is redirected to ten dot ten and if you initiated traffic for 101 is redirected to server 2 so friends you have seen that we have completed this task so our third task will be task number third now we will use single ip address 4.2.2.100 and you will use port number 8080 and you will use 4.2.100 and port number 8082 now if you initiate traffic for 8080 is redirected to should be redirect to server 1 if you initiate traffic for 8080 8082 it should be redirected to server 2 so let's see how to configure it so go to smart dashboard go to security policy we will use single ip so our source will be any destination will be 100 and original service will be 8080 port 8080 it should be redirect to server 1 ok we will use now again if you use port number 8082 so you can select this object here net server 2 so you can see this is a tcp port 8082 and this is tcp port 8080 okay when we initiate traffic for 8080 it should be redirect to server 1 when we initiate traffic for 8082 it should be redirect to server 2 and our destination port number should be telnet here we can select telnet 23 here it should be redirect to 23 ok click on public publish and install policy 
you can see successfully installed now we will tell net 4.2.2.100 port number 8080 okay password you can see when we initiate traffic for 8080 is redirected to server 1 okay now if we will initiate traffic for 8082 it should be redirected to server 2 so you can see we have initiated traffic for 8082 is redirected to server 2 so friends in this video you have seen how to configure destination net and how publish server over internet from checkpoint firewall so now next video we will see ipsec vpn how to configure site to site vpn between checkpoint firewall so thanks for watching this video have a nice day